Hey everybody, it's Tiana, the owner and creator of windingwithcandles.com and welcome back to another studio vlog. This, my friends, this is 42 pounds of crinkle paper. You guys, if you hear the label printer in the back, it's a bit loud, but last night I spent some time to batch some sorting candles because I keep selling out on Amazon, which is a good thing, but I hate when I'm just not able to keep up. So it's been kind of hard for me to keep up and get sales with Amazon, Etsy, and all of that together. So I have this, and I've also got some candles here that I really need to wrap up um this week they've kind of just been accumulating these things need to be packaged and organized Alright everyone, so you know I've been struggling with wax melts. It's such a simple product, probably more simple than a candle, but for some reason I just did not want to use the clamshell. I just really wanted the packaging to be perfect and I've had different ideas of a wax melt, one being the wax waffle. Um, I think this waffle looks so cute and I really love the design, but the functionality of it, like you just trying to slice this up and put it in your wax melt warmer is just going to be a mess. Even though it looks super cute, I just knew that for the customer it was going to be a bit messy. And then I also had an idea like a couple studio vlogs ago, you might have seen that I did the donut wax melt with the frosting in the middle. That was really cute too, but again, it just seemed kind of messy. Um, and yeah, I was like, it just seems messy. So I finally came up with a wax melt that I'm excited to show you guys and it's going to be up in my store soon. Keep a lookout. I'm going to take you through the process of me creating this and the packaging and everything like that. So let's go ahead and jump into it.
you guys the moment of truth we're going to see how nicely we have created these labels let me get some lighting so i have these labels and if you can't tell these are going to wrap around the top of my bag and i'm actually going to just seal it with a um, twist tie so that once you open the bag you can reseal it and you won't have the smell always coming out of the bag so this is just going to be like the decoration or the label before you open it and then this will go on the bag so you don't forget which scent it is so let's put it all together i'm so excited to see how this turned out so here's the packaging right now i don't think it looks super good because the bag's a little bit on the shorter side but that can easily be fixed just buying um, a taller bag and once i buy a taller bag i do think these will turn out really cute i'll be able to fit about six melts in a bag anyway I'm happy. So the only complaint is taller bags. I could possibly even make this little rectangle part shorter. Don't know. It's not a big deal. We'll test it out. But this is definitely it. And I'm happy with it. Just a few more tweaks and we will be there. Okay. So you saw the first take of the wax melt. And we are getting closer to the final product so as you can see like the packaging was kind of getting there but it's not all the way there it's just like a little bit more and so I went out and I grabbed a few new materials so that I can go ahead and start um, trying to do my second attempt at the packaging and I will show you that now so here we've got six wax melts in a bag and let me get my I'm gonna seal it off with one of these and put a sticker on it there's that. Alright guys, so here is the packaging. I'm a lot happier with this packaging. It's taller so they're not all squished in there. I'm looking rough. It's simple, easy to seal um, after you grab one out. And it's cute. It's original, cute. I like it. I definitely like it. So today I'm going to be making more wax melts. I'm going to try a different formula um, to make them a tad bit harder. And we're going to see how that goes. I'm just going to compare and contrast like how I feel about this formula versus the harder formula. But yeah, let's go ahead and make some more wax melts.
All right, so you've seen me make the wax melts. I'm so excited that I finally have a simple, cute, unique packaging. It took me several months to finally get to this point. So that just kind of shows you the steps that I go through to get to a product. It's like, I have so many ideas in my head and I definitely do like to try things out and try all of the ideas, but sometimes they just don't click with me, even though, um, it's something as simple as a wax melt. I just really wanted it to represent my brand and me, and I didn't want to push anything out that I wasn't 100% about. So I'm very excited to show you guys the finished wax melt. So this is the Unicorn Dreams wax melt, and um, it has glitter on it. It smells just like the creme brulee that you get in the candle. It smells so good, and I'm telling you guys, I tested this out, and I had it in my warmer upstairs, and I could smell it from the bottom of the stairs. So one cube lasts about four days, depending on how long you have your wax melter on, and there's six cubes in a bag. Um, so that's the Unicorn Dreams. It's one of my more popular scents. It's really nice, creme brulee, can't go wrong, and it has glitter on it too. And then um, the second, well, second one that I made was the Happy Birthday Wax Melt. And then I actually, if you've purchased the um, custom, I have a custom candle in my shop. It's actually the one burning right here. It's the um, birthday cake candle and it looks like a birthday cake and you can even customize the label and I will write happy birthday so-and-so on the label. Um, but this is kind of like the wax melt version of that. So there are real sprinkles in there and it's the same birthday cake scent that you get in that candle and I think it's so cute and the sprinkles actually worked really well in this so as it burns the sprinkles will kind of not burns as it melts the sprinkles will kind of dissolve into the wax and you can clean it out with the wax it's not a big deal the next one is fruity loops and I actually use the fruit loops embeds that I use in my candles and I just put those inside of the mold and they just smell like Fruit Loops. So I'm definitely excited about this and I cannot wait to create all the wax melts. These will be hitting my shop soon. I just have to take pictures and everything. I haven't gotten to take pictures yet, I'm sorry. But keep a lookout and you just make sure to follow me on Instagram and all that so that you guys can keep a lookout for wax melts hitting the shop. But yes, I'm so excited about that. Okay, thank you guys for watching today's video. I know I look a little different. I decided to opt for contacts for today's video because glasses, I seem to always have a glare. I don't know if you've noticed by now, but this is a different format that I'm trying for the studio vlogs. Instead of me just talking um, and rambling, I decided to kind of make the talking a little bit less so that you get a little bit more vlog, a little bit less of me just rambling and talking because I can just ramble and talk but let me know what you guys like about the new format do you like it or do you like me rambling and talking as i film we're just trying things out and we're almost at 3,000 subscribers which is amazing so thank you guys to everyone who subscribed and thank you for watching this studio vlog comment down below things i don't know just talk to me i like replying back to you guys down there but until next time bye guys